Queen Kelly, hello. Got a good workout for you today. We're gonna to be using a single kettlebell, which I understand that you have. And I know the exercises that most people, including I believe yourself, would prefer not to do, like the snatch or anything that uh, involves risk of it crashing into your wrist. But we have some great dynamic stuff that'll be a good variable of exercise for you, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. There's eight things that we gotta do. We're gonna try to run through it three times. There's a lot of 30-30 splits, meaning half a minute on one side, half on the other, so watch me for the changes. Exercise number one is a reverse lunge where we're gonna swing the kettlebell, and then when we come up, we're gonna stabilize and we're gonna catch it. So on the reverse lunge, well, first of all, we start here holding the bell, and then whatever side you step back on, that's the side you're gonna swing the kettlebell on. We're gonna try to stabilize ourselves on the swing, and then we come up, palm to the bell, elbows close, 30-30 split. Number two is a squat that looks kind of like a deadlift. And then we snap, and then we do a goblet squat, dropping the kettlebell here. We'll come down and we'll touch. We're not going to hinge like a deadlift. We're just going to squat until the kettlebell touches the ground. Snap again, elbows close. We go from the top of the handle to right under the collar and then we do our squat elbows to knees. Then our legs get a little bit of a rest. Oh, nope, sorry, ah, almost, almost a rest. Split leg squat and press. So we're gonna roll the kettlebell up so your knuckles are right under your chin, elbow points to the ground, cradles right on the crook of your biceps and forearms, and then we take a leg behind us, It'll be the same leg that we're holding the bell on, we drop, press, and then we come back up. So we're gonna hold on the press. And we just up and down. So split leg squat means we stay. Lunging is when we're actually in motion. It's a 30-30 split. Then we do curls. Two ways to do it depending on the weight of the kettlebell and how your wrists, forearms, and everything feels. Most accessible way is to hold the bell. Elbows close, you go really slow, you bring the handle up, you stretch it down, you pretend you're buried in sand and you create resistance by mindfully thinking about engaging your biceps. The other way, which is if you have a light kettlebell, is you just simply flip it, hold the bell away from you, and then you would curl here and drop down. And it puts the weight further from your body. And that can be good if you're working with like a six or an eight, but if you're working with like a 12, 15, or 20, I wouldn't do it that way because it puts a little too much weight away from your body and uh, against your wrist and elbow, and we don't want any joint pain. Skull pressure for the triceps, real simple. We just go behind the head holding the bell. We hammer up, just like we've done with dumbbells and plates and things like that. Uh, we have a 60-40 stance row. So 60% of your weight should be on your front leg, 40% on your back leg. You just, like you're walking and you froze or like you're getting ready to do a shoulder press. We come on down, you're okay to rest on the quad. I like to put my hand behind my back just to keep it out of the way. And then we row to the hip. So you get some stance work in here. And we do 30 seconds per side. And if your kettlebell is light, give it a good squeeze when you row. Shuffle swing, you know your Russian swing. But for this one, every time the bell is up, you're going to side straddle hop. We're going to alternate as we go. So the way it goes is when it's swinging through your legs, you stay. When it's up, you move. If I'm going to move to my right, I go left to right and out. And if I'm going to move to my left, I go right to left and then out. So don't want to bounce too high, but it's just shuffle, shuffle, shuffle on the swing, shuffle on the swing. If it becomes a little too hard to coordinate, you can always do a standard Russian swing, but try it out. I think you'll get it. And then we have offset push-ups, and that's just where you put one hand on the bell, one hand on the ground. We push up for 30 seconds, move the kettlebell, other side push-ups for 30 seconds. It's nice to have a goal of like counting and whatever I do on one side, I try to match on the other. Okay, so it is a little warm here today. So bear with me, it's about 98 degrees right now. And that's cooler than Santa Rosa, which is 105. But um, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it. Today is truly a hydrator die day. So get your kettlebell, get your water, get your towel, get your space. Take a few breaths. We got reverse lunge, swing and catch, 30-30 split at the bell. Whatever leg goes back, that's the side you swing, 
and then your legs come together and grab the bell. Okay, so let's get into action. Hey, happy to be working out with you. Start up. Stabilize. Ten. Do a nice switch. Other side. And time. Off and rolling. We got it. squat, snap, goblet squat. Bring it back down. Two belts. <sighs> Hope you're having a good day, Kel. Next belt. Nice little workout. Straight up, come down, pop it, elbow to knee, straight up, drop it, let's stand, go down, snap it, elbow to knee, put it down, pick it up, put it down, snap it up, chest up, put it down, pick it up, Put it down, snap it up. Split leg squat and press. So you pick a leg, match the kettlebell on the same side. You gotta keep your knuckles straight up under your chin, elbow down, arm close. We strike back. When we dip, we press. When the press is done, we rise from the dip. We always have a leg behind us. 30 30 split. Down. Give it a little twist. Side, knuckles under, elbow down, step back, drop it, press it. Okay, uh, curl, so we just stand shoulder width. Remember, you either hold the bell end, which I probably recommend, but if your kettlebell is really light, you can hold the handles with the bell away. You're buried in quicksand, just sand, doesn't have to be quicksand. <laughs>
skull crusher from bicep we go to tricep again trying to hit every major muscle group so we should definitely hold the bell end behind the head press it straight up and keep it on the back half of the head elbows are going to flare it's okay as long as they don't hurt oh, eight seconds Let's go. That's 30, I got the rest there. Two, one. Okay, 60 40 stance row. So now we emphasize the back. And again, if your kettlebell is too light, squeeze for a moment before you release. This is meant to be a 30 30 split, and now we got some static work for our legs. So time under tension benefit. Like Sally squats is time under tension, just not the Sally squat method. Okay, so shoulder width, caught mid step. Could rest on your thigh, not your knee. I'm gonna put my hand behind my back. Chest down, arch your back, pull to the hip, back to the foot. Squeeze at the hip, back to the foot. Again, if the weight isn't too challenging, don't worry about reps, worry about the hold. Get a squeeze and then release. That noise is an Amazon truck back in the sunset. Coughing bird. Okay, other side. Shoulder width. Knee down, like you're caught in a lunge. Kind of got a lunging thing here. Abs tight. for a time delay. Oh, it's fun working with the kettlebell. You can change things up good. Okay, shuffle swing. You can always just do the Russian swing. Otherwise, whenever the swing happens, the feet are happening. Try to organize in your brain which way you're gonna go first. If you're going to your left, right foot moves first. Swing. Still firing those glutes, still keeping your chest up. Kettlebell gives your butt a kiss. Abs tight, we breathe in. We light on the feet, and then we stay in the feet. Offset push-ups, it's another 30-30 split. If anything bugs your wrists or your elbows, you can just do normal push-ups. Otherwise count, I try to match it on the other side. I like the handle away from me, it's just what works good for me and my kettlebell. I try to emphasize the palm on the kettlebell. So it puts more weight on one arm. Like when we did the 60-40 split on our legs. Ah. 
five seconds. I did 15. I'm gonna move my kettlebell and get set. Because I'm thinking I gotta do 15 again, right? left. about 17 minutes in, including the intro. Not too shabby. When we start again, it's the reverse lunge swing. Remember, whatever leg is going back, that's the side that you hold a kettlebell on. on the other side. So much. Touch the ground, stand up, touch the ground, snap it up. Down, snap. Ten seconds. Split leg squat and press. my Amazon package. Don't ask. I'll figure it out in a moment. So I 
know you started right at the bell. Oh, I need that extra one. Okay, curl. Oh, it's the heat, man. It's the last time I got 15. Skull crushers. I don't know what just happened, but that Amazon package is empty. It's a little package. I don't know what just happened. That I stepped into an alternate reality or something. That's why I'm so puzzled. I mean, you heard it, right? A guy did just drop off a package. I saw like an old woman's trash. There's nothing in it. Sweat is making it so I can't hold it. They didn't wipe my hands. How's that going to help? I got regroup. Okay, sixty forty split and row. Squeeze. Shuffle swing next. I can get one more for ten. Ah. Okay. Shuffle swing. 
hike it through our legs. Holy guacamole. Perspiration. Ten seconds, sister. Three. Abs tight. Come to slider. I was just delivering everything. I should remember where I asked where my thing was, but it's not to me, it's to mom's. I don't know what it was. She's just doing a rehearsal for an order. <laughs> Offset push ups coming up. Last time we got 15 per side, so I'm going to try for 10 per side. Maybe 12. We'll see how I feel. Here we go. So that's 12, and I have to stop myself because I feel like, you know, I can do more, and I don't have to do the other side, and I want to match it. So 12 and 12 is 24. I probably need to keep it around there. Okay, here we go, other side. I was just got this and there's nothing in it. So it must have fallen out of his truck. I he delivered that, so I assumed he would have known if something wasn't in it. That's the weirdest thing, huh? Was it the guy that was just here or the one? Yeah. Well, well, there was more. yeah. He went to all kinds of different houses. He couldn't find our address? No, no. He delivered to different houses. Okay. And we were one of them. Okay, Cal, third set. But I don't understand. I understand. Do you know what you ordered? Yeah, it's, I do. Okay. Is it something small that could have blown out? I mean, I just don't get it. Where did he put it? Right on the outside of the gym. And then I saw the package blowing. So I grabbed it and it was empty. Other side, Kel. Sorry. No, oh, it's fine.
squat, then snap. Check out on the other side of the gate. You need to walk it in. Ten seconds. It's the heat, man. That's why they can't deliver the packages. We all fall out of Any luck? Yeah. So you just have to contact Amazon and tell them. <sighs> Split leg squat with the press. I just don't know. Now my legs are feeling it. Bicep curl. I did 15, and then I did 17. I'd like to get 15 again. You got central air in your new house? I would assume you do. God, I wish I had that right here. Skull pressures. We're almost there. Sorry I'm not more chatty. I just can't. I gotta keep as much air in my system. Ten seconds. Tummy tight, tushy tight. I 
Hey, Kel, our new ab flow uses a medicine ball. I do it with a 12. You'd probably be comfortable with a 10 for the exercises. See if you can get one. Basketball works too because we have rolling dynamics. And I show you everything with a dumbbell too. Okay, so now I definitely gotta do some hand wavy. Kettlebell still has sweat on it, so again, Adam's brain no worky too well right now. We got the row next in the 60-40 stance. So we want like 60% of our weight on the front leg, right? I've been hitting 10 per side. Bell. Here we go. My ten. Squeeze. Uh, whoo! Shuffle swing. Now we're passing 40 minutes now. Not so bad, especially if you started with some abs or if you decide to finish with some rowing or some running. Or some stretchy. Nice hour workout, right? Okay, get ready. Shuffle when it's up. Offset push-ups for the win. So I did 15 and 15, 12 and 12. We'll try 10 and 10 now. Plus another 20, 74. Three seconds to the switch up, Cal. Here we go. One extra. 
Because 75 sounds so much better. All right, sister, big finish. 10 seconds, come on. Eight, seven, come on. Five, four, one more rep, one more rep. Time. Woo! Good for you. Okay, Kel, give me some feedback. Let me know what you like, what you want to see. And I'll see you in the next workout. Proud of you, always a pleasure. How'd we do on time? 42 30. Not bad at all. That's good advice.